So here are all my limbs, and they're just waiting, like hanging around, waiting for me to basically finish painting this hair. So guys, I've not really been feeling, um, well, one, I haven't even had the content to do anything with it. Um, in the, like the last little week or so, I've been basically finishing lots of different projects. I've got lots of babies in my queue currently. I've had a few painted hair for hires. This is one of them. So I thought it would be really fun to basically just go through and sort of do a little video where I show um, the work that I'm working on currently, sort of like a behind the scenes kind of thing. Um, so this is the head that I'm working on. It's Dallas by Dawn McLeod Murray. Isn't that just the cutest little face? So her mom actually asked for uh, like thick wavy hair. Uh, so what I'm, this is basically after like a couple layers of painted hair. I usually end up doing about six to seven layers depending on the hairstyle. So this is sort of, sort of at the beginning phase um, that I was showing her to see um, how she liked sort of the movement and all of that. And I also plot out the eyebrows as well at the same time. And yeah. I just thought it would be fun to kind of just like show you guys um, sort of my hair. I call them like head twirls where I basically will go do a 360 on the hair as I'm painting it. Um, and it's really kind of weird when you're working on so many different heads of hair and the heads are all, they're all different and they all kind of dictate a different kind of hairstyle. I'm also in the process of finishing up a couple prototypes. I've had a busier prototype month as well. So basically it all kind of coalesced into basically not having any new sort of detail videos to pop up, but lots of sort of in progresses. So this is after a couple more layers with the painted hair. As you can see, it's starting to go dark and thicker and really develop those waves. I think I'm like maybe six layers in at this point with it. Um, I like to use, I do have, um, I do a custom cut sort of a comb brush that I like to do. And I also like to use a few other new brushes as well. Um, both of which I now feature in my uh, Reborn course as well. Um, and now this is the finished product. He has all hit or he or she has his hair. This is the finished style, lots of beautiful detailing. And um, the head is all ready to go back uh, to his or her mom. And now here is all the sculpts that I'm working on, heads that I'm painting hair on. I have two others over there that you're not gonna see just yet. This one's gonna be full combi, so I haven't actually finished much of it. Um, my prototype, another one, and then my two Lulus turned out so funny because both of them have the exact same face, but somehow they both suited two totally different hairstyles. And like I said, I kind of like feel out the hairstyle that best suits them. And this is sort of um, the jumping off point for them. So there's still only a couple layers in, um, as well as the painted hair that I was just showing you, <laughs> Dallas. And then also my custom Knox uh, Eagles, who is a very special artistic freedom custom. And I am gonna be doing combi on him as well. And he has lots of lanugo on his forehead. So I'm gonna show you guys some of those details on him as well. But yeah, like I am just, I'm having a lot of hair painting days <laughs> that I'm working on right now. So this is little baby Knox. He is a custom for my returning customer who has so many of my babies, Chelsea from Reborns Are Us. She has a channel on YouTube. Um, I've made a few babies for her in the past, literally in the past few months, but this baby is super special. And I ended up getting this kit kind of by accident. I did a silent auction on Irresistibles and they had one left in stock. And I am really so excited that I got to win him because I haven't reborn him literally in, oh my goodness, I think the last time I reborn it was 2014. So that's six years, it's a big difference. And I really had this vision for super newborny, lots of Lanugo, lots of baby scratches, and he was just so much fun to paint. And now my most recent prototype, Katie by Iveta Ekertova. Um, I am just so in love with how the brows turned out on this baby. I also gave her super faint Lanugo. And then um, I was gonna go for dark hair and then this sort of happened. <laughs> 
<laughs> so she ended up with sort of a baby brown hair, which ended up working well for her um, butterscotch mohair. <laughs> I also did a new technique of sort of emphasizing her dimple. This kit had a very slight dimple on the one side. So what I did was I actually made it more pronounced. Um, it just ended up working out that it looked so beautiful with a dimple and I gave the other side a dimple as well. So I'm so excited by that new technique. I'm hoping to actually have a module on that technique coming up in my reborn course um, pretty soon. But yeah, here are just some pictures of her with her finished hair, including her combi. So I'm super in love with how the effect turned out. And now my custom Alexa. This is my second version of this sculpt actually. And the hair is very similar to what her mama wanted. But I ended up doing this really cute little front like part thing where the hair swooshes back. Anyway, it turned out super cute. I am still filling it in. Got a few, like this is about like three or four layers in again as well. Um, but it's just a little update I sent to her mom to show off what I've been working on. And my second Lulu who also um, had hair similar to my custom Chloe that I ended up doing a little while back and um, just ended up with like really beautiful waves and she's gonna be a combi baby as well so uh, I will be rooting into this head too so yeah that's her cute little head I just can't get enough of this face you guys I think she is one of my new favorite sculpts to work on for sure and my third trouble by Nikki Johnson. I've worked on her a lot. This one's going to be a full combi baby, but she is going to have some lanugo. So this, I've basically just done um, the under layer of painted hair for the full combi, fully rooted. That's what I like to do now. Um, and she's gonna have very blonde hair. So it's a very, very faint little baby hairs under there. And then I'm gonna get to her lanugo on her forehead and her eyebrows as well. But she's so so cute this is another sculpt that i reborn now so many times and yet i still love it so so much so this is after a few more layers i'm back um so there is alexa now got lots of beautiful details um really building out that like front wave part of her hair she's so pretty and trouble now she's got lots of her lanugo i'm going to zoom in on that so you guys can see that Lots of Lanugo. It won't be as pronounced once I actually do um, the texturing. So it looks more vivid than it eventually will look, but I'm really happy with it. And my custom Charlotte, who is a portrait baby, I just gave her her lashes and um, yeah, she has barely their baby hair very much like her, her the baby um, that was the inspiration for it uh, and then my two Lulus and I'm now many different layers back in again you can see the direction of their hair is like so completely different and yet they both really suit their hairstyles it's the funniest thing when you let sort of their facial shape determine it and my last one which is my custom Joanna who is a portrait baby um, this baby had tons of uh, Lanugo on her forehead so I'm just building up those layers as well as her beautiful brows again they're gonna be a lot thicker once um, I get a little bit further in on it and she's gonna be a fully rooted baby too so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now here she is a little bit later she's got lots of Lanugo um, I've done most of her painted hair that's going to be underneath all of her rooting. Uh, it'll make her hair look thicker when it's all done. And again, you can see like she looks so similar to the baby um, that I'm working off of, which is a portrait uh, baby. So really super special. And I've given her lots of Lanugo on her forehead. Still have a little bit more to do to fill in. She has a little bald patch of Lanugo on her forehead. She has a little bald patch that she'll eventually have like where on her Lanugo isn't. Oh, she's such a precious baby. So I'm really happy with her eyebrows and everything. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye guys.